Okay, ich spiele das jetzt mal komplett mit. Okay, now we're gonna load the media. Uh, we now loaded the media with this uh, adapter cards here, just to run the test. You can actually hear the printer here. It's a little high-pitched noise, which is coming from the Zebra printer. It's actually something... I don't know, I have to talk to the Zebra guys again, whether that's normal, but... Uh, it's a bit annoying, to be honest. So I hope it's in the production, not in the office area. Now I can see how you, how you have to uh, fiddle around a bit the, the, the labels. And this is something I wanted to mention. If you do not use pre-printed media, you see you have from the printer to the to the media output to the actually to the application of the of the label, uh, you have around 40 40 tickets, <laughs> which are therefore unprinted. So what you can do, you can first start printing some of the labels. So it runs out some of the labels here on the right side and then load it so all the labels here are already printed. So to assure that from the first SD card you actually print, it will be the right label. Here you see your diagram on the machine, how to roll on label wheels. And how to fiddle it into the machine. Reicht das schon so? Oder? Ja. Okay. So. Now we're going to run a test with uh, 25 pieces. Okay, now it reached 25 pieces as you can see. The machine automatically will stop. You can run it on the auto, on the single. Let's see you have five production orders now of 200 pieces. You can just print the first 200 pieces, then the second 200, then the third 200, and then the last, let's say the last batch of 100 printouts, you have here the remaining 35 to 40 labels in fact. So you have to empty those by using some adapters or anything. Well, let's say you want we want the last batch of 100 pieces, then you actually have to print 130 pieces. How, how many labels are between the printer and the and the 
It's around 30 pieces, right? Oder? Ungefähr 30? Ungefähr. Ja. Ich muss schon vorlaufen lassen. Ich so you have, let's say you have five batches of 200 pieces. Um, you have to print the first four just with 200 and then the last one with 130 in fact, uh, 230 in fact, because you will have the, the remaining the remaining 30 pieces still here on the label roll on the distance between the printer output and the label application. So then you stop with the production, you start the next production run, you will still have the 30 remaining labels here on the reel. So what you have to do, you have to put 30 like these adapters here and just run them through the machine before you actually produce the real SD cards. I mean, this is the downside of using the machine all in one with the with the with the printer in combination with the label applicator. There is certain flexibility with that, but um, I just want to point out the, the down downside of it. This is now using the raisins, the smaller raisins. It works actually very reliable now. It did some minor modifications because it scrambled the tickets scrambled sometimes in the machines before. We just had to apply some some screws to keep the label inside. Otherwise, the printer, as you can see, is quite a big printer, but it's the only industrial design which was offered for Zebra. So the problem was normally this printer is made for printers up to this wide, up to uh, 20 centimeters, and of course the SD card labels are quite small. So the, the label roll reel was actually wandering from left to right, causing the label to crumble inside the machine uh, and to cause an error. Oh, these are the ones we just labeled. As you can see, the position is quite good. This is now using the raisin. It's it's water resistant. It's to a certain level scratch resistant. But and you can see a little bit of a smudge if you really wipe very hard over it. But I think it's really pretty much the best result we can get. I doubt you can get a better result with the thermal printer, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up some of the samples and send them over to the US so you can judge yourself.